Hello. Welcome to AI Factory. Can you believe it? You don't need to shoot videos, show your face, or spend hours writing scripts. Imagine creating tons of video content in just one day and starting your own social media account to make money. This method works for TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and Instagram. In today's video, I'll show you how to use AI to mass-produce video content. Whether you're into nail art, makeup, lipstick, or any other product, this technique works for everything. You can also tailor it to your own interests or product areas as you go. Let's look Look at this nail art channel. It has gained 905k followers on TikTok just by posting nail art videos. This channel and another that posts beauty content have easily attracted a lot of attention. By directing users to their own websites and selling products, they can quickly make money. Even with a conservative estimate, their income is at least hundreds of thousands of dollars. In the past, creating such a channel would have been very expensive, but in 2024, we can use AI tools to quickly create similar content for much less. You can learn how to create similar content by watching my channel. I cover the use of various free AI tools to monetize design ideas and create viral videos. After researching similar channels, I found they often use stories to grab attention. This format hooks viewers with dramatic stories or life gossip, keeping them watching till the end. Your video visuals and spoken content don't even have to match. This strategy has been proven successful by by many channels. For example, let's look at this nail art channel with a popular video. The first sentence is, I just matched with my dead wife on Tinder. Isn't that bizarre and scary? It makes people want to keep watching. This video alone has received 8.1 million views and many commenters are urging for updates. They've even created a special series called Storytime. This skincare channel with 2.4 million followers often uses Storytime to attract traffic. The blogger applies makeup and talks about the product's background while telling an intriguing story. A single video can get 26K likes. If you don't want to show your face, you can use other video materials, such as the production process of lipstick or a demonstration of using a powder. People, when bored, can't resist watching gossip stories for a while. These videos often present product use in a stress-relieving way, making people keep watching. Now, let's see how this type of channel is monetized on TikTok. On their home pages, these channels often have links to their independent websites. By clicking the link, users are redirected to the product landing page. For example, this account sells nail-related tools with prices ranging from a few dollars to tens of dollars, including handmade wearable nails. Another beauty account sells various products, with prices ranging from a few dollars to hundreds of dollars. Assuming the average order value is $20, with a large fan base and high view counts, even if only 1 in 10,000 viewers makes a purchase, it still results in considerable profit. After reviewing the case analysis, let's get started with Step 1. Generate the script First, we need to find the content we want to use as a benchmark. Here's how. Click to access the video. Copy the video link. Use the Snaptick to download the video. Save the video locally. Then, go to TurboScribe. This tool will automatically convert your audio and video files to text. Use your Google email to sign in, and it will give you three free transcripts daily. If you need more, there are paid plans available. For our purposes, three files are enough. Click on Open Dash dashboard to open a new page, then hit transcribe your first file. Upload your file, select English, choose whale mode, and then hit transcribe. After a few seconds, your file will be ready to download. Choose the format for your file. I recommend exporting as TXT. Next, go to ChatGPT. Ask ChatGPT to use the following script to create a similar story and paste the reference script. It wrote a script quickly, but I want it shortened a bit. I was satisfied with the second version. Step 2. Collect video materials. We can use websites like Shutterstock, Envato Elements, or Pixabay to find materials. These sites offer a wide range of content. For instance, Envato Elements and Shutterstock have extensive collections but require payment. Alternatively, you can use free sites like Pixabay or Pexels. I will include all the links in the description below my video. To 
find materials, enter keywords like skincare, makeup, or nail art into the search bar. You'll see a variety of related content. Select and download the content you like and save it. If you're working on other product categories, search for relevant keywords on these sites to find the video material you need. Step three, generate voiceover. We'll use 11 Labs to generate the voiceover, which is one of the best AI voice generation tools available. It offers many voices, each with unique characteristics. Sign in using your Google account or another email. Listen to voice samples. Browse through the available voices. But these are not normal times in our politics. Government of the people, by the people. Ideas are the beginning points of all fortune. Never mistake motion for action. A man sees in the world what he carries in his heart. I particularly like Freya's voice. Paste your script into the text box and click Generate. Wait a few seconds for it to process. Once it's ready, download the file. Now you have your voiceover ready for use. Step 4. Edit the video. For this step, we'll use CapCut, a powerful and free video editing tool that you can download to your computer or use online. Open CapCut and start a new project. Import your videos and voice voiceover files. Drag both the voiceover and video clips onto the timeline. Then, adjust video lengths. If your video clips are shorter than the voiceover, you'll need to adjust their lengths. It's a good idea to download more video if needed. Select the first video, then click on Speed in the top right panel. Lower the speed number to extend the duration of the clip. Then, set aspect ratio. Click on the ratio option and change it to 916 for a vertical format. Adjust the lengths of each video clip as necessary. Repeat this for each video clip to match the length of the voiceover. Next, apply filters. To enhance the video quality, add a clear filter on the top layer to sharpen the visuals. By following these steps, you can create a cohesive and polished video that aligns with your voiceover. Now, we need to add captions. In the top menu, click on Text and select Auto Caption. Select English. Click on Generate. The script will appear on the top layer. In the top right panel, you can change the font, color, and size of the text. Click on Animation and then caption to see various options. Let's choose Bounce Out. In the top menu, select Audio to search for suitable music. Add the selected music to the timeline, trim it to fit your video, adjust the fade in and fade out effects, and lower the volume as needed. The video is almost finished. Finally, we can add our products and prices. These products might be from our website. Choose the area on the timeline where you want to place the product images, scale, and position them as needed. Add the price text under each image, apply an animation effect, and adjust the animation duration. Repeat this process for the other products. After a final review, export the video. Let's check out the result. All right, listeners, get ready for a roller coaster of a story that'll have you hooked from the first word. This tale involves a hefty dose of catfishing, travel mishaps, and a guy I'll call Tiny Tim. So picture this. I met Tiny Tim on a dating app. We hit it off after just four hours of messaging. He was obsessed. I gave him my Instagram and he went crazy, liking all my pics. Sure, I use filters sometimes, but not always. He clearly missed the the natural ones. After three days, he asked me to visit him. He lives far away, but I was smitten and, okay, maybe a bit delusional. I thought he'd pay for the flight, but nope. He told me to book it and let him know. So like a fool, I did. Eight hours of travel later, I'm tired and hungry, and there he is. But wait, he's not six, two inches like he claimed. He's more like five, seven. We hug, he stares at my face and says, you look different in real life, ouch. Then he starts questioning my age. I had to show him my ID. And then the kicker, he says he's not feeling it and I can go home if I want. No dinner, no concern, just you can go. I asked him to pay pay for my ticket back, and he refused. This guy, who flaunts his wealth on Instagram, couldn't even do that. And he denied lying about his height. So I got a hotel, made the most- If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. See you next time.